if you have a cable provider, you can watch yeah. WWE pay-per-views. If you have the WWE network, you can watch WWE pay-per-views. However, if you have satellite dishes, you're kind of fucked. <laughs> if you go to places that rely on satellite television, huh? you're kind of fucked. Because, what is it, uh, DirecTV and Dish Network? Mm-hmm. Both are not offering WWE pay-per-views anymore? Yep, yep. And also the AT&T U-verse. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, where the fuck yeah. is oh, Really? Shit. That's, okay, so so we got a little glimpse of this because I think it was Dish that said we were not going to carry Elimination Chamber. Everybody rescinded because nobody wanted to pass up that sweet, sweet WrestleMania money. Um, but now, now I want to also note here, and this is more of an awesome cast discussion, but Dish Network, uh, when it comes to companies uh, that deliver your television and things that they try and attempt and, and pull back on and, and, and have bad negotiations with, Dish Network is batshit crazy, you guys. Um, mm-hmm. they are willing to do this kind of thing. I would hate to be a Dish Network cu- customer because when you have like a month and a half where you don't have any CBS or Viacom channel, for instance, instance because they're everybody's holding out. Um, they the, these guys are under a constant litigation for some of the boxes they've been trying to put out, uh, along with their satellite dishes, uh, and now this is them making a stand. Um, now WWE when asked about this previously was like, Hey, they're passing off on free money. We're not going to miss it. Cause we get, I think they said maybe 10 or $20 out of each sale at that point. Um, mm-hmm. So WWE is just saying, this is not a reason for people to get on. Now where I have the biggest problem is i grew up in a place without cable still to this day does not have cable, which also means still to this day does not have reliable bandwidth. For online. So my dad is still lives in the same house that I grew up in, uh, still has direct TV. We've had Dish, my reintroduction in 1996, just in time for the NWO invasion of WCW, uh, was because we finally got Prime Star, guys. Remember that one? Um, yeah. I remember Prime Star. My friend's house used to get pay per views. Every time it rained, it would go out. Uh, yeah, that was a problem. That was a bit of a problem. They were usually pretty good about refunding you, though, if you had a problem. Um, Pray for me, I once had to get refunded for a money train that we rented. Um, anyways, other than oh. that. <laughs> classy. Yeah, the train. classy uh, money train movie. Um, but it, not that he doesn't regularly get pay-per-views, but let's say I'm back home. We're not watching the pay-per-view. We're not watching it on the dish. He he kind of got DSL, but it was pretty much like a dial-up modem. And you know what he did finally have to do for internet to be connected in some fashion? Uh, satellite internet, which is still not an option. That's expensive. It's expensive, and you get about a 500 megabyte a day data cap. Oh, gee. You're not Netflixing on that, guys. You're not going to WWE no. Network on this thing. You're not nope. doing, not to mention, uh, it's not fast enough. It, you know, for, uh, another case in point, uh, uh, most of you guys here, you're on Google Hangout now. I, I think a lot of you guys have a little bit of experience, at least with FaceTiming with uh, mm-hmm. Apple devices, right? And, you know, it's pretty, usually, even over cell, it's pretty instantaneous, right? We're talking satellite mm-hmm. dish. Your latency, because that signal is going all the way up there and then back down, it, it, there was a good like two, three second delay. That shows how good that internet is. <laughs> <laughs> so they have literally, like, you know, just like the, when I got away from wrestling because cable became the thing where all the wrestling was going and it was impossible for me to follow it anymore to any, you know, reliable extent i think this is a this is going to become the same thing i think there's going to be a group of people that are out in the out in the cut that just took away their only way to see these pay-per-views because they're super the next super wrestling fan is going to have a podcast or whatever they're going to call it in 20 years um i think it's a problem i I, i'm always wary when uh new technologies or something cut out a giant portion of the rural people and what are wrestling yeah. fans typically they're not all in the city guys nope. i can't wait for the next nope. angry grandpa kid video <laughs> <laughs> um I, but uh, lb i know you know you're you're from a kind of a film you know similar situation out there uh i mean you gotta have some thoughts on this 
Yeah, it's true. Uh, my uh, my parents do have um, they have Direct TV for their uh, for their cable, and they have um, uh, fucking what's it called it. I think it's like a Clear or 